For making penetrations for window and door openings, there's a couple of different methods. One method is to cut a diagonal strip from angle to angle. So find the top on corner and come down to the, the bottom left. The easiest though, a far easier method, is to find the middle of the opening, the top point, and then pierce the membrane from top to bottom. Once you've done that then, you're just cutting on the horizontal at the sill, left and right. And then also at the head, cutting from the middle out to the reveals. Once you've done that then, the mem membrane can be folded into the reveals and stapled in place. When the membrane has been folded and stapled into place, Ilias can go ahead and cut flush with the window or door frame, cut the membrane along its length. And the beauty of this method is that the waste piece that he's cutting off can now become useful at both the sill and the head. As with the two reveals, the offcut can then be stapled into place. The membrane is then cut just shy of the windowsill. You'll notice Ilias is pulling the membrane away from himself just to avoid penetrating the membrane below. It's always best if the air barrier can be returned around corners just to get, get away from tight corners that are more difficult to seal. You'll see here now Ilias can then go ahead and seal the overlap on the horizontal rather than in the corner. We'll work in again arm length, meter to a meter and a half strips. Ilias can cut the Tescon vana, position, position it in place and seal the horizontal joint. When sealing at the bottom edge, ideally you want to overrun by about 50, 60 millimeters on the side of the window. Um, similar again, he has about 30 millimeters or so on the membrane and 30 millimeters over the window sill. Pressing the tape against the, uh, the antello using the press fix continuously. Then Elias can come ahead and he can fold the tape back onto the windowsill, making sure to keep away from the corner at least two or three millimeters. Cutting a diagonal strip and then folding the tape back in.
To seal the outside corner, a strip of tape, the Tescon Vanna, can be cut to about 50 or 60 millimeters in length. The release strip removed, the tape folded in half, and pressed in fully into the corner. Again, applying 20 or 30 millimeters into the reveal and overhanging the tape about 20 or 30 millimeters. Finding the corner, moving away two or three millimeters from the corner and folding the tape around the corner. This ensures the corner joint between reveal and the face of the wall is 100% airtight. Once the Tescon profile has been cut to suit, ideally around 50 to 60 millimeters, the tape can be folded. Folding the tape along its length and folding the tape along the 12 millimeter strip. By folding the tape and creating a crease at the back, this allows you to apply the tape correctly right into the corner. Once you've created the fold, the 12 millimeter strip can be cut in half. Once you've made the cut along the 12 millimeter strip, the release strip can be re removed and the one side of the 12 millimeter adhered to the other side. Once you've made the seal and created an L shape on the Tescon profile, this can then be offered up to the window. The 12 millimeter strip can be adhered to the bottom and side of the frame, using the press fix to secure the tape in place. Once the 12 millimeter adhesive strip has been secured to the frame, the second adhesive strip can be removed. Using the press fix, you can ensure a tight fit into the corner. Once the four corner pieces of Tescom profile have been fit, the infill pieces on the bottom, sides and head can then be fit. The Tescom profile is offered up to the frame with the 48 millimeter strip and the 12 millimeter strip offered directly to the frame. The 12 millimeter strip is then released and positioned. Using the press fix, you can ensure that you get a tight fit to the frame. By ensuring the 12 millimeter strip is directly in the corner, you avoid having curves or humps in the tape. The 48 mm strip, strip can then be released. Care should be taken not to apply too much tape to the frame, so then when we position our window boards and our plasterboard levels, that they're not exposed. Once the Tescon profile has been applied to all four sides, you can ensure that you're getting zero leakage between your frame and your air barrier internally. By this method, you ensure a full airtight seal rather than using the conventional approach of expanding foams and silicones.